Hi and welcome to King Factory. My name is Roy and this is your first stop for everything King. So, today we're talking about kink in general, as well as a short description of some of the less extravagant kinks, which will include age player, put player and edging for this week. But first, what is kink? So a kink is described as a sexual practice that would go beyond what is considered conventional, um, as a means of heightening the intimacy between sexual partners, so something a little bit more out of the box than just regular vanilla sex. Something that's a little bit different. So to help me explain this, here's Am and So Jezebian, what is age play? It's a role play that people can put themselves in, which is not always sexual, but sometimes can be, depending on how tall of a tail tall little or fun size, fun size, sorry. But it's a type of role play with consenting adults that sometimes regress back into almost like childlike play. That is a very good assumption with some good facts in there. Can I tighten it up a little bit? Please do. So, age play is basically people who go anywhere from the little stage, which is regressing role playing age one to about 12, 11-ish. And then you have your middles who are about mm, 11, 12, up until about like your 17 age, to like your bigs and caregivers who are basically like your adults that are 18 plus. So you have like, you have littles and middles. And bigs. And bigs. That make up the umbrella of age play. From that little umbrella, you have the different types that are regressive, role play, and what is called dark age play, but we normally just call it sexualized play. Thanks guys. So the next kink we're gonna look at is put play. And for all the haters out there, yes, I see you. I'd like to clarify right now that put play in no way involves real animals. Just making that very, very clear before you start doing hate comments. Right, so today we've got Amp and what with us to describe that for us. So, away. <laughs> so what is puppy play? Puppy play is about role play. It's about someone getting into the role play of a dog in that headspace. Um, it's also about having a handler or a sir or a master who takes on the role of the person in charge in that role play. It's not necessarily a sexual play, though it can be. For many, it serves as a release of the animal part of them. Most importantly, though, is that it's not bestiality. Real animals are not involved. While much of this activity has been nailed down to specifics today, pet play didn't always start out so well defined. And, in fact, it's been around for much longer than many realize. Uh, some say that the notion of pet play came from the myths and the stories that we grew up uh, hearing about. In order to teach lessons, they usually had ethics or some sort of think, like morals encoded within the story. Um, we can even draw parallels to comics and contemporary superheroes like Catwoman, Wildcat, Batman, and one of my personal favorites, Wolverine. Wow, that was really interesting. Cheers, boys. So, for our final kink this episode, we're going to be hearing from Amp and Mr. Christopher about edging and how fun it can be. We're gonna talk about a specific topic on edging. And we like talking about sex. Probably a little too much. <laughs> and for these sex education episodes, we like to be as approachable and easy to understand for the topic. So first, we're gonna talk about what edging is. So what is edging? Edging basically is getting the sub on the edge of a sexual orgasm and then withdrawing right when they're close. And this heightens uh, when they finally do ejaculate. This can actually increase the volume of the ejaculate and the force of the ejaculation. <laughs> the intensifying of an orgasm can make it a very mind-blowing experience. Edging is also known as orgasm control, sexual denial, delayed gratification, or surfing. Why surfing? 
because it really gets you wet. <laughs> yeah. So basically it's a sexual technique that can be used on yourself or with a partner that keeps you aroused, maintains the arousal without climax for an extended period of time. Unfortunately that's all we have time for this episode. But come back next week when we'll be discussing the finer points of the daddy baby relationship style. I've been Roy and remember, if you can't be good, be kinky.